Jay, are you able to start off by yeah. telling us any lineup changes? Same lineup. Same lineup. The exact same lineup, yeah. Is it just a case of for Tom Pye available? Yeah. You're just. Uh, yeah, he's available. Uh, Weidman's available. They're two uh, regulars, but I think right now with. Uh, uh, you know, our team's been playing the last three games with this lineup, and it's uh, it's turned our way. So I think we uh, we don't want to change anything right now. Yeah, yeah, he is one of our most trusted guys, and uh, he's a top PK. And uh, you know, him, Pajot, and Hoffman were a terrific line for us. But I think right now it's. Uh, it's just one more opportunity to give him a few more days uh, because everybody else is healthy and we've won with that lineup. So, uh, yeah, it's it. That one's a little hard, but at the same time, um, if you're if you weren't having success, it'd be a lot harder. It's just now we've had success with that lineup, so um, we we've, we've been planning to use everybody, and and uh, that's what we're going to keep on doing for for today. Uh, I think the timetable has changed a few times, so I'll be honest with you. Right now, I just told him, you tell me when he's ready to go, uh, and he's not, so no. It could be four days, could be three days. I don't. Right now, I have no clue, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be a little faster than that. We all thought it was going to be a little faster, but uh, yesterday it looked great, and yeah, you know, we just got to be cautious. You had to pretty significant dominance uh, in face-offs in the two games in Ottawa. Uh, how much did that have to do with the skill of your guys or the fact that you had last change? How do you maintain that dominance down here? Uh, you know, I, I hate the word dominance. Uh, they're, they're really good players on the other side and at any moment, you know, it could switch and uh, and be the opposite. I just think that we've been a pretty good face-off team all year. And the series against Boston has helped us a lot to try to perform uh, at our best because they were they were a good face-off team, and especially Bergeron getting all these uh, important face-offs. Our players really took it at heart to, to put a lot of effort into our face-offs individually, but I, th I, th I think also collectively because when you look at how face-offs are won, we often – look at the sentiment winning it and thinking, you know, he's doing great, but the reality is more than half of the face-offs are won by the wingers because they're jumping in. So I think it's a, a it's a total team effort. I think their wingers are, uh, are aggressive on face-offs and they got a lot of jump on face-offs. So uh, that's where I think they, uh, they, they, have a, they have a strength there. So we have to match that. We have to make sure that our wingers are fast to jump on those face-offs too. Just as a follow-up coach on the, on the key, the last face-off before your goal in the last game, I uh, was surprised to see you had Peugeot take the draw as opposed to Kyle, who was a tourist who was on the ice as well, who's a better face-off man. Were you just going with a hunch? Nope, no, it was because it's the way where we wanted our players after the face-off. So I needed I needed Kyle somewhere else, as you saw where he was on that shot. So we wanted to make sure that uh, he had the, uh, enough time to get to that spot. And um, yeah, that's why I needed Peugeot there. But I would have had Peugeot. If he wasn't taking the phase-offs, he would have been on the ice regardless. If you were powerful, you're 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 powerful, we threw it at them. <laughs> we threw the both goals or us. Uh, one, uh, one of our players shot for no reason where we got full control on zone entry and it went around they were gone. And the other one is off uh, Ola's own play. We shot it around and they were gone. So we just weren't very smart about that one. And they, and they jumped quick and we know that. So it's, it, we, we have no, no reason to be surprised with them taking off. We know that. So, I mean, that's on us for sure. Coach, you often talk about matching desperation. Is it hard to create that when in reality you're not as desperate when you're up 2 nothing in the series? 100%. That's, uh, I've been saying it all year. It's easy to say there's desperation, but until there really is, uh, it's something you have to create superficially. The only thing is for us is uh, um, we're desperate to win every game. Uh, and if you look at the consequences of today's game, they're big. Uh, so our players are aware of that. Um, we've been in uh, in Boston's barn where they had all the urgency in the world. Uh, and we had to match that and we had to play our game and we were able to. So, I mean, t I'm, I'm looking at today, this is probably the toughest game we will have all year long. Uh, and that's how I approach it. They're going to be at their best. They're going to be at their most desperate. They're going to have their... their um, 
their best players, uh, you know, do what they do best, and we can't expect anything uh, below that. I think it's it's that's them at their best today. That that's it. So we know that it's probably our our toughest game of the year. Well, the end result changes in terms of. Uh, you know, you need less or you need more games to win your series. But to me, the approach will never change from one game to another. It just, that's, uh, whether we win uh, the series 2-1 or losing 2-1, our approach is always the same to the game. So I just, tonight for me, it's, we're not playing a series. We're playing the first 10 minutes of tonight's game against a team that's home in front of their fans uh, with all the desperation, energy, and uh, quality of play that they can bring. That's it. The rest. For, for, no, not for me. I think that's how we've approached every game this year. Um, that's how we've approached the first game of the playoffs. That's how we approached the last game we played against the Bruins in, in their barn. Um, the way we've approached every game has not changed at all. So we're not going to change that today. Coach, have you learned more about your team's real power resilience in these eight playoff games? Or has it been the case of the season? <laughs> it was all season. Uh, so it's not something that just showed up. What I like is that it, it did translate into the playoffs, which sometimes it doesn't for whatever reason. Um, and that's where the players uh, have done an unbelievable job of being able to do that in a in more pressure situation. But really, when you look at the end of the season, when you're trying to make playoffs, and if you lose two, you're not making them, and if you win two, you're making them. I mean, that's that's the terrible pressure to have to live with. And, and the players did a very good job at it, even though we were missing a lot of players. So coming into the playoffs, just felt like, hey, it's the same type of situation, and we've managed it well, and and so we have to have confidence in ourselves. Is there ever, ever a point you feel as though you need to manage the minutes, Carlson? Um, do you need to rein him in? Nope. No, because we did it all year. So it's we've had a few instances where games where we knew we had to play them more, and some games where we pulled back, and uh, some games where it's just one of those average games where we just uh, give him his 24 minutes, 22, 25, and, and he's fine. And what we've done all year long, too, is, is uh, and same in the playoffs, is we just don't have him practice. So um, rest is a weapon. And in his case, to be honest with you, he doesn't need to practice. I don't think I've ever said that about anybody. <laughs> But that's the truth. <laughs> so don't tell him I said that. Uh, that's just a reality. Whether your practice is not makes absolutely no difference in his game or his efficiency. Or uh, I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. So we'll take it. Do you, I know you're only here this year, but this team has been very comfortable playing in this building. Do you sense a reason that's why? It. No. Like, even with you, though, they I think they won two, or three, or whatever it is. Do they just feel comfortable on the big stage? I don't think there's any difference. I just we just come in here and do our thing, and uh, um, you know you've been places where you had success before, and then it doesn't work, and you you had the opposite where you haven't won a game, you come in and all of a sudden. And you know, if we had looked at it that way this year, going into Vancouver, and I think I hadn't won in what, 12 years, 13 years, and Chicago more than that. I don't think we would have had the right approach coming in. So we, I didn't even know about these things, and I don't want to know about these things. So you just reminded me of something I don't want to know about. That's that's all stuff that doesn't help us because it's it's not about yesterday. It's about today. Like how comfortable are we today in our plan and what we want to do is the only thing that matters. It's, in the past, it's different teams, different coaches, different everything. So I, you know, I don't think. Um, Looking back at five years ago when the team played well a certain night when you had half the team that was different and a different coach, I, it really has any impact on today. Uh, you might have a few players that find it you know, positive for them personally, and sometimes that might play into it. But I think as a, as a group, everything is new, and every day is a new day. And uh, you know, uh, going into Boston, you know, we, we had done well during the year, but then people said, well, there must be a danger now because you've done well, maybe you won't do well. And then you get the opposite. Well, because you've done well, you might really, it's, it's, there's no impact whatsoever. You have to make your own impact that particular day, period. And that's why, that's the beauty of sports. To me, it always goes back to zero. I'll save the other numbers. I'll save the other numbers. Okay, that's good. <laughs>